Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about as a consumer, does demand for ethical products have power on the decision making in supply chain? And I'm Jasmine. I'm Candy. And I'm Bonnie. And this is our outline. We have eight sessions in our presentation. Um, at first, I'm going to talk about the ethical issues of supply chain. There, there have two ethical issues which are inadequate labor laws and environment impact in China. For the inadequate labor laws, it is, a, it is forced labor. Due to the child labor, the fatal firework factory explosion kills child laborers. And the explosion caused the death of a 40-year-old uh, child laborer and left 11 other workers severely injured. The second one is the harsh working condition. Apple forced to uh, forced the labor to stand for 24-hour suicide nets and toxic exposure. Due to the har uh, harsh working conditions, the ex explosions and living together in crowded dorms and exposure to dangerous chemicals, it led to explosions in 2011 in China due to alu aluminum dust killed four workers. The second one is environment impact in China. For the first one, it is air pollution by, chi by China power plants. Due, um, due to the air pollution, um, it caused the China citizens have eye bleeding. Uh, for the second one, is water pollution by Chinese suppliers. Um, um, due to the um, in January, a uh, chemical accident leaked more than uh, leaks, and it caused more than twenty people were has hospitalized as the uh, due to the water pollution. Now I will introduce the ethical consumerism. Ethical consumerism, consumerism as the third ray of consumerism in the evolution. There are three main components, including the animal welfare and environment, human rights and working conditions, and fair trade. Also, there are three types of ethical consumerism. For example, positive ethical purchase behavior that consumers purchase goods with ethical characteristics, like buying organic and fair trade products. Negative ethical purchase behavior, like by Scots, customers avoid goods with unethical characteristics, and customer action, like protesting. The further development from ethical consumerism is sustainable consumption, which refers to understand and then manage demand so that social, economic, and environmental goals are achieved. In the organizational context, it represents the CSR practice that can be seen in many large companies. Fair trade has a significant impact in the supply chain. First, we look at the objectives of fair trade like achieving better price, decent working conditions, local sustainability, and fair terms of trade for farmers and workers in the developing world. This photo shows how fair trade supply chain operates. Fair trade producers are located in the south and buying organizations in the wild or northern countries like importers, processors, or wholesalers. Pro products are purchased from these southern producer organizations. This is an, an example of Starbucks. Um, Starbucks as an example of fair trade products. It has offered fair trade coffee since two, 2000 and are now one of the largest purchasers of fair trade certified coffee in the world. In 2012, 44.4 billion pounds of its coffee purchases were fair trade certified. Uh, Starbucks also purchased 8.7 billion pounds of certified organic coffee in 2012. Also, Starbucks worked hard to support farmers and their communities. Their goal is to increase farmer loan guarantees, provide farmers with incentives to reduce the environmental impacts of coffee production. Also, Starbucks has established farmer support centers in Costa Rica and Rwanda to provide local farmers with resources and expertise to help lower the cost of production reduce infections, improve coffee quality, and improve the production of premium coffee. 
Uh, Fairtrade has faced the two main challenges in the supply chain. First, an unwillingness for customers to pay large premiums to support Fairtrade products. Second, the recurring problems with yield and quality that affect product availability. The two challenges are caused by the customer attitude behavior gap. The attitude behavior gap reflects the customer decision making in fair trade products. Customers expect companies to treat their suppliers fairly and express their preferences for fairly sourced products. These preferences do not always trans translate the actual purchase behavior. The majority of customers evaluate product attributes jointly in making purchases. Price and quality are likely to come before reputation. Customers are willing to pay more for products with certain ethical attributes, but not willing to satisfy product qualities or features for more socially acceptable products. Therefore, understanding customer behavior is considered as important because unfair refill price offerings always lower than the fair trade products. As a consumer, my purchase decision is made by my perspectives and knowledge about the product in my mind. As mentioned before, one of the issues of fair trade supply chain is customers are not willing to pay premium price, so consumers would prefer to choose non-fair trade products like purchasing the big brand Nestle coffee in big supermarkets rather than purchase Starbucks coffee. However, the customer behavior gap has explained customers are willing to pay premium for fair trade products because the product is high quality with every cold standards like Starbucks. Also, my purchase decision is affected by the information gained from the excessive media. I have heard many negative campaigns from different channels such as social media or newspaper that claims social and environmental issues related to certain brands. At the same time, there are many advertisements promote fair trade products that they claim to provide products in fairly manner. Mm. Uh, after the fair trade, um, uh, I'm going to talk about organic products in supply chain. Um, in the um in the UK, uh, the organic market is dominated in UK by fruits and vegetables, with forty four percent of the value of organic scales in nineteen ninety six. Organic meats and dairy foods have become more significant in the wake of recent food scares. Um, and for the US. The size of organic food industry in the U.S. is estimated to be over $6 million, although organic food compressed less than 2% of, uh, of total U.S. retail food sale, uh, sales. The segment is growing rapidly as um, rates approaching uh, 25% per year. Um, uh, in their, uh, as a consumer, um, um, it... Um, and also, due to the consumer, uh, they, they tend to buy more organic products in this recent year. According to the Leatherhead Food Research Association, there is a hard core of consumers, typically vegetarians, that regularly buy free-range eggs or organic produce. This is supplemented by a second group of less committed organic consumers who purchase behavior is swayed by the latest gear and the cost, and a third group which is sympathetic but apathetic. However, um, organic, organic fruit may face some challenges in supply chains. The main reasons that prevent consumers from buying organic food are expensiveness, limited availability, unsatisfactory quality, and lack of trust. And also, the second one is unwillingness to pay premiums. The organic food have to compete with other non-organic food in terms of pricing, varieties, and the frequency of production. Uh, last but not least is the low trust. Trust is an essential element. In general terms, when related to food, trust is seen as an expression of the alternative to have to make an individual decision and just assume that food is safe. The final is 
The final one is consumers have little inform information and on organic food products, and most consumers will only compare the price of the food products as they do not know the benefits of the organic food to themselves and to the nature. Therefore, firm must develop it and it must develop its e efficient methods to uh, to overcome the challenges. And and as the challenge come. Business can adjust with strategic approach, can ensure a business work ethical with product produce production. Consumer focused supply chain focus supply chain management is a strategic tool, accurate good and service. And it is based on the idea that by enhance your consumer overall satisfaction with your product and service, in the long run, the business will improve profitable and efficiency of your entire business with including your supply chain power. And consumer focusing has a long term rec recognized. Example from Starbucks and uh, provide high quality coffee drink by ethical sources. To achieve Starbucks aim, Starbucks has invested in coffee farming and their community. In the previous slide, we have mentioned how Starbucks invests with local farmers and building farmer support center to ensure Starbucks coffee are in premium level because the center are providing local farmers with source resources and experts to ensure the coffee beans are produced in a lower production cost. And the second one is building a strong image. Starbucks spending very little money on advertising. They use long traditional methods such as word of mouth for their advertising campaign. Starbucks investor in Coffee farmer has to ensure provide high quality coffee beans. This helps them building strong brand image that provide high quality of green coffee that consumer would like to pay higher price. And strong brand image have consumer valuable pricing because they have higher brand awareness. For example, part of the coffee bean in Starbucks is export from Colombia. The Colombia coffee bean. Starbucks import are under EU product geographical pro product. It ensures they are green and roasted coffee. And from course power matrix, identify four power salarial in which buyer and supplier can operate. The power matrix is explained in more detail. And, but it is basically constructing around the idea that all buyer and supply relations are predicted on the re relative utility and related circularity of resources. And there are extremes between two parties. And core has count that buyer as cooperator or consumer in the buyer supply relation. IKEA, um, uh, for example, uh, IKEA as a company example, a business idea are selecting economical and produces low cost and high quality products to consumers. IKEA has 46 trade companies with uh, 1,000 suppliers. There are existed competitive relationship between IKEA and suppliers. In order to improve internal procurement system and maintain the low cost with standard quality products, after the headquarters presented new design, the trading company searched for the most valuable suppliers in certain areas. Suppliers can obtain the headquarters order when they can provide the low cost with high quality. As the consumers demand an IKEA business goal, IKEA as a buyer and they own a power to select a right suppliers that meet IKEA and general consumers' demand. Um, as a consumer, we have a personal experience to share. The first example is Lush. Lush is a British-based company which is selling natural beauty products. Lush suggests that green policy in their business. For example, the company makes limited using of package. Over about 40% of product like 
Spa Bone and Massage Bar a Lincoln with absolutely low package. One of their core principles is that ingredients should be bought in a respectful way the, and the environment and the social impact. One of the policy that they fulfill with their core principle is fat. Yes, uh, yes, fighting animal tests. Yes, make progress on the ethical farm, which is refused to test its product on animal, and yet it also reject to buy ingredient from supplier that test on animal. As I'm a, I am a consumer with sensitive skin, I would like to purchase large product, although there are exact different beautiful brands in UK, but it large also it may expensive than other. But because large are doing business in ethical way and all the products are homemade with natural ingredients, it will be better for my skin. And the other personal experience is Body Shop. The reasons that I would choose Body Shop is because of uh, their they doing business with in ethical. Um, Body Shop turns social responsibility practices into its main marketing message. It promised that is that when consumers buy products at the Body Shop, they are helping the environment and the economies of developing nations. And uh, one of uh, they have five core values, which are. Against animal testing, supports community trade, active uh, activates self esteem, defend human rights, and protect our planet. And uh, because um nowadays uh, global warming is very uh, is is a serious problem in this world. Um um, the reasons that I would choose Body Shop is because they will protect the planet, and I think uh, using Body Shop pro uh, products can help me saving the planet. Corporate social responsibility function as cell regulatory and mechanism whereby a business mental and ensure is active with the spin of law, ethical standards, and national or international norms. The aim is to increase long term profit through positive and um, positive public relation. And CSL strategy encourage the company to make a positive impact on environment and stakeholder, including supplier, consumer, community of other. And CSL activity including transparency, building a stakeholder relation, building company relation, and um, building a supplier relation. Why is building a relation with supplier is important? Because supplier. Supplier is one of the good of stakeholder, and building up a long term relation with supplier can achieve competitive advantage. Also, that they have uh, the ability to increase or decrease the quality of product in participator industry. And um, relation between CSL and supply chain management. There is general a knowledge that corporate social responsibility can be a job by organization in supply chain for which the economy, environmental and social advantage. A lack of CSL in supply chain will lead to some drawbacks. Firstly, firm in the supply chain doing business without social responsibility can be defined as an ethical supply chain which is a are able to result in some major issue. For example, the example from Toshiba. Most of the firms are buying unfinished input material or real material from other firms. And customers also can acquire buying for ethical laptops. They are actually coming for the unstep by supplier. For example, in 2007, Toshiba has being recall more than one billion their laptop because the battery have be from has been overheating, and however the fact is Toshiba laptop battery are made and supplied by Sony, and this is a real example that at least a band need to take a hint for a supplier who is truly with responsibility for the risky product. It may not be fair, but it is really indicated that how ethical work in supply chains. In the case of Toshiba, being a, an ethical company is not enough anymore. The social responsibility behavior is not only a company worth, but the worth of their all business partners such as 
supplier and distributor. All of them organizations are responsible responsible for contribution of social and ethical and environmental to an ethical supply chain. To summarize, all the evidence are presented to support our main argument that customer demands have power on the decision made in the supply chain. From the cost power matrix, it mentions the buyer has power attributes related to relative to the suppliers that provide the basis for the buyer to leverage the supplier's performance on quality or cost improvement and ensure that the supplier receives only normal returns. Due to the rise of ethical consumerism, consumer power has increased rapidly, and customers require low price and high quality products with ethical standards, and the need to be transparent about those products. Negative purchase behaviors, such as boy scouts, can be problematic. Therefore, a traditional supply chain has to has been transformed to sub. Sustainable supply chain to achieve the goals of triple bottom line, which is the best solution to uh, imbalance the power and reduce the exploitation of labor and supplier, also to fulfill customers' needs and wants.